What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here with our circle unit. Today we're going to be talking about the parts of a circle. So let's start with some math vocabulary. Um, and so a circle is a two-dimensional object whose boundary, okay, or circumference, consists of points equidistant from a fixed point. We call that point the center. Um, and just bonus, it's 360 degrees. So here we have a compass. Uh, not a compass that you would use to tell north, uh, east, south, and west, right? Never eat soggy waffles. Um, but this is a compass that's going to help us draw a circle, okay? Um, because a circle, a lot of times we confuse ovals and circles or ellipses and circles uh, because we think that, you know, I don't know. We just do, okay? But a circle has to be the same point. So here is going to be the center of our circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this pen and we're going to draw around the center of that circle. So if you notice right here, let me get a pin out. Here's my center, right? From this point to this point is the same from the center to here, which is the same from the center to here, which is the same from the center to here. That's what equidistance means. It's an equal distance. No matter what point you pick on a circle, it's going to be the same distance to the center. If it was five inches, it'd be five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches. So that's what makes a circle a circle. Okay, and we use this compass draw. We're going to come back and use that compass in a second. Um, and so today, all we're doing is we are labeling the parts of a circle. Okay, this can be a very, very easy lesson. Um, the IXL is very easy for you to practice. Um, but we, we're going to be using these terms a lot. So I just wanted to introduce them to you so that we can go slow now to go fast in a couple lessons. So the first thing we want to do uh, is draw a circle, right? So we're going to have a circle. If you have a compass, you can draw one on there. If not, I'll, I'll probably just put one on your notes. Um, and we want to spread it out, I don't know, 144, make it nice and big. And we're going to draw this nice big circle. Another way you could draw a circle if you don't have a compass is you could tie a string around your pencil. You could get like a pin, a bobby pin, um, or something to make sure you can hold the center on your paper, tie the string around to the pencil, stretch it all the way out, make sure you hold it good so the angle of the pencil doesn't change, and you can trace the circle using a uh, string and a pencil and a pen, okay? Pen as in like a bobby pin or um, a thumbtack, if you will. You gotta hold that string at the center. So let's get this compass out of the way. And let's label some of these. So the important words I'm going to put in red. Um, I guess I should have done that before I moved it. But I'm going to say the center was right here. So go ahead and label your circle. Okay. The circumference is, ooh, wow, there you go. Can't even uh, type or write today. The circumference is the outside of the circle. Okay. Kind of the perimeter of the circle, if you will. The diameter, let me get a different color for that, is going to be a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, but it has to pass through the center of your circle. Um, so I'm going to try to draw a nice, obviously it has to be straight. There we go. Just make that bigger so I didn't miss it. Okay. And this is going to be called the diameter. Now the diameter could go up and down. It could go diagonal. All it has to do is have an it's a line segment, okay? And so the endpoints have to be on the circle, okay, on the circumference of the circle, and it has to pass through the center of the circle. And then the other part of this, okay, would be your radius. Now, your radius is going to be half of your diameter. Your radius is from the center to any point on the circumference or on the outer edge of the circle and we call this the radius you can draw that anywhere so you don't get those two confused very important and these terms are super important you can hear them uh, probably for, for the rest of these lessons and the rest of your math life okay the center the diameter and the radius now the key thing to think about with the radius is two radiuses or two times r is going to equal your diameter that's a key concept that will come um, that will be important later in our lessons now we also have a chord, a tangent, and a secant. So I'll do those in black. Now a chord is very similar to the diameter. Okay, it's two. It's a, just a line segment and two endpoints. Okay, on the outer edge of the circle. Um, but the difference between a chord and a diameter is a chord does not have to go through the center of the circle. 
okay? So a chord can be from this point to over here. It could be from uh, here, there we go, to here. You could draw another chord if you wanted to, oops, but make it uh, not curvy. Um, let me get rid of that one. And so that's a chord, okay? A chord is a line segment, it just doesn't go through the center. A tangent line, this is not important for our lessons, but we're just kind of introducing it. A tangent line is a line, okay, that kind of brushes or touches the outer edge of the circle. Tangent means that it's touching, okay? Um, and that's gonna be really important when you guys get into trigonometry and you're doing stuff with uh, graphing, even in algebra. Um, and so we would call this a tangent line. Okay, not a line segment because it's gonna keep going on forever and ever. And then a secant line, okay, if I cross that out, is kind of like a chord, except it's not a line segment. It doesn't stop. It's gonna keep going on forever and ever and ever. So a secant line is a line that goes through the circle. Okay, it's not just touching a tangent, it's just barely touching the outside. But a secant line goes through the circle and it's a line, okay, not a line segment. So your important ones right here are center, circumference, diameter, and radius, but I did just want to introduce the chord, tangent, and secant to you. Uh, just, we want to continue to further your knowledge. So your I do today is to, uh, on IXL, you're just labeling the parts of the circle, okay? It should not be very difficult. Again, not a long lesson, um, but we want you to make sure you have these in your notes because we're gonna refer to the radius, we're gonna re refer to the diameter and the circumference, and we want you to know what those are, all right?